Hello, welcome to JXG Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at the basic and the enhanced ground proximity warning systems. First, let's look at what is the ground proximity warning system or GPWS. GPWS is a safety system installed on modern aircraft. It is designed to prevent collisions with terrain or obstacles. This system generates oral and visual alerts when the aircraft is flying towards terrain and a collision is likely. When the alerts are triggered, the crew must take corrective actions to prevent controlled flight into terrain CFIT accidents. What is CFIT? CFIT incidents happen when an airworthy aircraft is unintentionally flown into terrain, ground, water, or obstacles. CFIT accidents usually occur in the critical phases of flight, that is, takeoff and landing. The basic and enhanced GPWS create awareness of terrain or obstacles on an aircraft's flight path for avoiding CFIT accidents. Now let's look at the basic GPWS modes. When an aircraft is in flight, the basic GPWS uses different aircraft information or systems such as the airspeed, radio altitude, barometric altitude, ILS receiver, and oral and visual alerting systems to alert the crew. The flight parameters are monitored and verified against warning modes. Let's look at these modes. The basic GPWS modes. Mode 1 is excessive rate of descent. This alert is triggered if the aircraft is descending too fast. Mode 2 is excessive terrain closure rate. This alert is triggered when the aircraft is rapidly approaching a rising terrain. Mode 3 is altitude loss after takeoff or go around. This alert is generated if an aircraft does not climb or loses altitude after takeoff or during a go around. Mode 4 is unsafe terrain clearance. This alert is triggered when an aircraft is close to the ground and not in the correct landing configuration. For this alert, the system monitors the flap setting and the landing gear position. Mode 5 is excessive deviation below glide slope. This alert is triggered when an aircraft descends below the correct glide path during an ILS approach. Mode 6 and Mode 7 are included on a few aircraft. Mode 6 gives automated voice callouts for altitude and bank angle alerts. Mode 7 gives warning for wind shear conditions. Now let's look at the enhanced GPWS. The terrain based basic GPWS alerts are triggered based on sudden aircraft height changes received from the radio altimeter. This could mean by the time the alerts are triggered, the aircraft would be very close to the terrain. The enhanced GPWS or eGPWS monitors terrain in front of the aircraft. This system may also be known as the Terrain Awareness Warning System or TAWS. In addition to the system inputs required for basic GPWS, the eGPWS or TAWS uses a terrain database, aircraft position, and aircraft performance information. How does eGPWS or TAWS function? The terrain database contains terrain and obstacle data. The eGPWS takes the aircraft position and plots it on this database. The system uses the aircraft's speed 
and performance information to compute the rate at which the aircraft is flying towards any terrain or obstacle. Based on these parameters, the system will trigger alerts if it detects that a collision is likely. If an alert is triggered, the flight path must be corrected. The basic GPWS and the enhanced GPWS or TAWS are installed to prevent CFIT accidents. Normally, the actions that are to be carried out when these alerts are triggered must be done from memory because time becomes crucial. If both ground proximity warning systems are installed, they work independently. This means a failure of one system will not impact the other. To summarize, the basic GPWS relies on terrain that is below the aircraft. The eGPWS or TAWS senses terrain or obstacles ahead of the aircraft. Both these safety systems become crucial during low visibility or night operations. That's all for my video on the GPWS. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well. Thank you.